Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and welcome to the fifth episode of PUBG Mobile News. From updates to delays for updates to the future of PUBG Mobile, uh, there's a ton to talk about this week, and I'm glad you're here. If you're new to the series, welcome to my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up so more new people can find it, and don't forget to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss out on any future PUBG Mobile content. The plan is for this show to be weekly, releasing on Sunday detailing the news of the previous week, unless something really crazy happens that deserves its own video, like those update videos last week. So let's get into the news. Today we're going to be talking about the global update to 0.4.0 as well as the massive 5 day iOS delay for that update, and Tencent's lack of an official response, at least right now. Uh, we're going to be talking about iOS and Android are currently at different revisions, which means if you log into the iOS update and then try to play on your Facebook account on an Android device, you're going to be locked out. Um, we're going to talk about some of the new features of 0.4.0. Uh, the three biggest ones are Dusk Mode, Training Mode, and Arcade Mode. We'll then look forward to 0.5.1 or whatever the next update is called, which is what uh, China has actually been playing for a while now. And then we'll talk about the Chinese beta testing, the brand new version 0.6.0 and what that brings. So lots of stuff to get to and let's jump right into it. So the first thing we want to talk about is that global update to 0.4.0 because it was the biggest news of the week. Uh, there was a 24-hour delay on maintenance. The maintenance was originally going to be Sunday night. It ended up, uh, these are U.S. times, by the way, just because that's where I'm located. Um, so the maintenance was originally going to be Sunday night. They pushed it 24 hours back to 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time Monday. And that was so that they could prepare the servers for 0.4.0, which was expected. They announced it on Twitter, and the servers went down right when they said they would. They said they'd be down for around eight hours. That was true. And when the servers came back early Tuesday morning, the Google Play Store showed the update to 0.4.0, which people could get and could start playing. Um, so all seemed well there. However, uh, when I went into the iOS App Store, there was no update. So that's why I made that video, which uh, went, became pretty popular, actually, which is pretty cool. But I made a video saying that, hey, look, I've got you know the Android update and the iOS update is not here, and there's no official word on why it's not here. And so started the most annoying five days in gaming history because you could not play with people who have iOS devices. So basically how it worked was iOS players on 0.3.3, the previous update, could play with each other and Android players on 0.4.0 could play with each other, but you couldn't play cross-platform, uh, which is really annoying because a lot of groups of friends, you know, somebody has an iPhone, somebody has a Galaxy, and they're on a squad together, and you just can't play. And I experienced that, and it's super annoying. So, And even worse, there's still no official word on the cause of the delay, uh, but the most probable theory, which I made a video about, a couple days ago or I think it was yesterday was that they didn't disclose the loot probabilities for their loot boxes the special agent crates that you can purchase with real money and because of that that was in violation of new app store guidelines that came in place last December and it's probably why uh, Apple rejected their first update so what they had to do is they had to revise it to include information to satisfy Apple, and then they submitted that on the 19th, and it was approved around 48 hours later, dropping in the U.S. at least at around 3 a.m. Um, on Sunday, Sunday morning. So quite a long delay and very frustrating that there wasn't better communication. So hopefully in the future, what they're going to do is they'll actually submit their update to iOS first, and when it gets approved, then they'll push it to the uh, Google Play Store, just because the Play Store is so much faster to approve updates. That way they come out around the same time, because right now there's still a very slight different, I didn't put this in the slide, um, but there's still very slight differences in the revision numbers between the 0.4.0 update that's running currently on Android and what's running on iOS. And the problem with that is because if you log into an iOS device and then try to play on an Android device, uh, and they're both linked through Facebook, 
you're uh, going to run into an error issue because the iOS update is technically newer than the Android update. So it's going to say, you know, you're already playing a newer version. You can't play this version. So hopefully Android will push out and this should be a much smoother process. They'll push out something, either a small update for uh, Google Play Store or they'll push it out server side and then we'll just download a couple megabytes when we jump into the game on our Android devices and then we can play with either operating system again. So hopefully that's what happens. So what's new in 0.4.0? Um, arcade mode is huge. It's a fast paced 28 player mode that usually restricts to certain types of weapons. So shotgun only, uh, pistols only, sniper rifles only, that sort of thing, uh, or item heaven where there's a ton of everything and it gets crazy real quick because there are only 28 people, but the zone starts much, much smaller than a normal game and the zone shrinks a lot faster. So it's I found it's usually five to 10 minutes um, and no longer than that. So it's it's a lot of fun because you don't have to dedicate the same amount of time as you do to a classic game, but you can still get your PUBG mobile fix in, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up was training mode, which is where you can practice with all different types of weapons, vehicles, equipment. I made a uh, video on this too, where you don't take damage. So it's really cool. You can test out different loadouts. You can practice your game mechanics. You can practice driving and vaulting and swimming and doing whatever you want to do really. And it's definitely one of my favorite things about the new update. And then dusk mode, which is random. It's a weather effect. Also made a video about this. If you want to check that out, I'll leave links in the description. And you can't choose to go into a dusk mode game. Hopefully one day you can, because I think it's really fun. Right now it's about one out of every 15 games and it happens in both arcade and classic, but it's harder to get in classic just because the games take longer generally. So you have to dedicate a lot more time before you actually get to one of those games unless you're leaving the lobby and then jumping back in trying to get one which which a lot of people are doing um there were also a ton of smaller changes and optimizations and a good number of devices especially low-end devices or older devices can run the game better now which is awesome um, but some people are having issues some people especially with like the mid-tier devices like the uh, the 6s are having more problems with crashes and stuff. So hopefully it, it sounds like, you know, with everything with these updates, you know, you take two steps forward and then you take a step backwards for other devices, which is unfortunate. If you're having any issues with the white texture, so if you're getting a bunch of white or black textures in game, try the in-game repair tool. Uh, just look that up on YouTube. It could be me or someone else's video. It doesn't matter. Um, but we made videos about how to do that from the main menu. You do lose your configuration options when you do that. Um, but a good number of people have reported that it does fix the issue. So sometimes like after you apply the update, something gets messed up and basically you just have to repair using that in-game tool and then you're fine. Good to go. So we'll look ahead to 0.5.1 real quick, which is the next update coming globally. This is what the Chinese have been on for a couple weeks now. And the biggest addition, of course, is the desert map, uh, Miramar. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but new vehicles, new weapons in that map uh, that are exclusive to the map. The foliage is different because it's a desert. Obviously, it's a lot hillier. Um, there are a lot more ravines and stuff. The ghillie suit's been updated. It's pretty crazy, and it should be a lot of fun when it gets released. And right now, releases middle of May. That's as much as we know. And as soon as there's something more concrete out there, don't worry. I'll definitely update you. But for right now, at least, know that it's probably going to be around a month or so away. So plenty of time to enjoy the features of 0.4.0 while we wait for the next one. And looking ahead even further, this is where the Chinese servers are going right now, and they're starting beta testing of 0.6.0, which released um, just, I think it was yesterday, and it's currently in beta, and the huge thing about this release is first-person mode. So um, FPP is something that the PC version has had for quite a while now, but it's something that some people love, some people don't love. It's going to be very interesting on a mobile game, I think, because it's quite a bit uh, trickier to spot people, and it's a lot tougher to look around things in first person. So uh, first person, is I'm not sure how well it's going to translate to mobile. I, I'm hoping that it's going to be a lot of fun, but I can see it being frustrating too just because, like I said, on a PC with mouse and keyboard, it's a lot easier to 
manipulate those uh, sorts of control mechanisms in order to be able to do things like look around a building without having to um, use the little look tool in third person. So I'm curious if it's going to be a lot tougher in mobile or if it's something that we can adapt to. Also adds a third slot for a weapon. So you get to hold two, um, presumably two, two rifles or shotguns and a pistol. So the third weapon slot, just like in PC, is only pistol. Um, but it's it's going to be interesting to um, see how well that translates to being able to have that third option loaded. It also adds glass in windows. So when you're vaulting, you're going to be smashing those windows and letting people know that you're in the area doing that. So right now it's a lot uh, easier, stealthier to jump through windows versus opening doors. But that's going to change if they add glass. And if they add glass, then, you know, you shoot through a window, the window's going to break. You can see where someone's shooting from easier. So lots of interesting things that, um, lots of interesting things with glass as an added mechanic, as long as they can solve any sorts of performance issues that arise from using it. So, and plenty of other miscellaneous improvements. I'm not in the beta um, just because I am not fluent in uh, traditional characters Chinese. I can't do that. Um, so I wouldn't be a good fit just because I wouldn't really know what's going on and wouldn't be able to provide them with quality feedback. But if you're in the beta, definitely let us know in the comments below how you're liking it and if there's any other big changes that I missed. Um, because like I said, you know, reading the patch notes is very, very difficult for me. So um, if there's someone else out there who has a better take on that, definitely let me know because we're all, we're all dying to hear it. <laughs> um, and I think that's pretty much it for this week. Definitely talked a little bit longer than I thought I would about the, the update, but hopefully uh, you guys found it informative. If you have any questions about PUBG Mobile or about me or whatever, you can just leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to them. Um, if you learned something, like I said in the beginning, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's awesome to see the channel growing at a great rate right now. And it really took off in the last week or so. And let's see if we can keep that going because it's very exciting to uh, see what the future holds. And I hope to see you next Sunday for the sixth edition of PUBG Mobile News, where there hopefully won't be another crazy delay or something crazy. Hopefully it's just a great week of gaming and everyone can have a lot of fun with it. And Or I'll see you on the battlefield sooner than that. So this is Derek G. Thanks for watching.